Hi everyone, welcome back. What a surprise. Interestingly, Open PLC have MQTT functionality. In case you don't know what MQTT is, MQTT, which stands for Message Queuing Telemetry Transport, it's a lightweight standard based messaging protocol or set of rules used for machine to machine communication, smart sensors, wearables, and other Internet of Things devices typically make use of this protocol. MQTT is really important because it is lightweight, efficient, scalable, reliable, secure, and as well supported. In this video, I will demonstrate how to implement MQTT in Open PLC using the ESP8266. Let's get started. subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell this way you always be notified whenever I upload new video right we have our secretary on our right we have the three LEDs the pump to demonstrate the pump coming on we have the send whenever we send MQTT message it comes on and off and then we have the connection whenever we have a successful connection with the MQTT broker it always comes on we have the start stop push button to start and stop the pump and then we have the pull down resistors to pull down the input pins okay we will look at the uh, setup on our breadboard we have the pull down resistors we have the start and stop push button we have led for connection led for send and then the led for the pump we have this resistors for current limiting and then we have the ESP8266 okay so to implement it you go to file and then let's click on the open there's already an example of MQTT send we click on it and then select the folder we double click on this point to open it up and this is how the code looks like okay so let me resize it and then we walk through the code quickly so we have an on off timers to generate pulses so that we can send messages whenever it goes on and off we have the mqtt connector which will connect to the broker we have the broker address right there so i click on the broker address and then we can see that when we copy this one up and then check it on the web we can see that it's a web-based broker that we are going to make use of so I paste it up and then click on this very link and then this is the interface so you can have the name of the broker which is test and then we have the port which is 1883 and then we can see that it is not having any credentials so it means that we can connect to it directly okay so I close this one up and now we move to where we send the MQTT message so we can see that we have a topic and then we have the message that we will need to send okay let's add some few items to it so now we would like to visualize the connection so I send this one to output 0.1 and then visualize the blinking as well and then output 0.2 okay I will change the time interval to 1000 milliseconds as one second because I don't want to update too fast and then also I will change this section I will only want to send when I receive a rising edge so I send I bring out a rising edge detector and then connect it as such okay great this is all what we need to do we click on the upload now choose our board ESP choose our ports and then communication you make sure that you set up the communication according to your router my IP address is this gateway is that the Wi-Fi name and then the password okay I click on transfer sorry transfer to the ESP great we can see that transfer was successful
now we will need a software to view the data that we've sent to the broker so to do this we move to mqtt.fx that is going to be the software we use download you click on the first item and then you scroll down if you are using windows then you need to download this very one i'm using windows so i downloaded this one okay to give you a warning but just uh, keep it after downloading you need to install i have already done the installation it's pretty straightforward okay so i go to the startup and then this is the icon you click on it and this is how the interface looks like we need to set it up so we click on the gear icon which is the settings and then at the settings we need to specify the broker name so i go back to open plc and then i can copy and paste the broker name okay so we have it here and then specify the broker name right here and then the port as well 1883 go to general and then under the user credential make sure you don't have anything here and then after that click ok and then click apply and then you can close this window okay you can now click on the connect to connect to the broker you can see we have a successful connection by this green indication okay great we need to subscribe to our topic so i now scroll to our topic i double click on this so that i can copy the topic okay good i now move to the mqtt client go to subscription and then paste the topic and then click on subscribe okay great we can see that the message that we transmitted is there hello from open plc now let's do something meaningful we will try and send status of the pump whenever we turn it on and off via the mqtt to do this let's add some few items i'll add the start button or the start input which is on i 0.1 and then i'll add the stop which is on i 0.2 and then i'll add the pump output which is on q 0.3 great and now let's do the modification i reposition this section quickly okay and now look for a set reset position it here and now connect the inputs that's our start to it to the set input and then the stop will go to the reset okay position them correctly and wire them up and now add the output which is the pump also to it great we now need to send specific messages so i delete this section and then i need a converter so i select a real to string converter i need an integer to real converter as well and then we need a selector so i move to selection and then select this one now we can send zero or one whenever the pump comes on and off okay i wire it up quickly and then i need a concatenation block so that we can add the status to a constant statement i reposition it again now change this one this description to pump state equals let me delete this one okay click ok connect it to the first input of the concatenation block and now connect this section as well okay yes connected to the second input and then the output to the message point of the mqtt sender okay so this will be our zero and then we need to send a one so i bring this section and then change it to one as well and then connect them 
to the selector block. Okay, great. And now connect the jeans section of it to the pump status so that whenever the status change, I will send different message to the MQTT broker. Okay. All is done. And we can see how the setup looks like. And I'll click on the compile and upload. Okay. And now to confirm my board is still the same. Confirm my ports. I select the port. And now check the IPs. They are all okay. And I click on transfer. Okay. We can see it flashing, indicating it's going. Okay, downloading or uploading done. And then we can see that it's trying to connect. We have connection, the blue light is on, and then the yellow light is flashing. I press on the start, the pump comes on, and we can see that the status has changed at the MQTT client section. And then when I turn the pump off, it's been updated. Great, working perfectly, and we can look at our status from the internet because we are connected to the internet broker great job viewers we've been able to implement mqtt using open plc there are great stuffs that you can do out of this particular example thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial bye bye